everyone. This is Ryan Hoyme, aka Massage Nerd. And today we have John Romano, right? Did I pronounce it right? Romano, yes. R Romano. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what's your company then? Uh, Other Worlds. Other Worlds, okay. Yes. So, what do you um, specialize in? What kind of products? Uh, I make my own essential oil blends and then products from that. I make my own uh, massage oils, my own candles, my own salt scrubs, best salts. Is there anything you don't make? Yes. Um, <laughs> 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 it, it seems like when I don't make something, somebody wants it, and then I have another line of products. Oh, so, so. that's how you get a lot of ideas and stuff yeah. like that from customers. Yeah, I only started and... out with a couple of different things, and then everybody's like, well, what yeah. about this, and what about that? And... So why did you start decide to actually get into this kind of business then? Um, I actually uh, started making stuff for myself because I couldn't find the quality products out there that I really wanted. So I started making all the blends myself. Um, I'm, I'm using uh, organic essential oils. Um, and everybody was like, I really like that. How can I get it? <laughs> <laughs> I can make more. <laughs> so it kind of just blossomed from there then and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. It's kind of snowballing. It's, you know, it's, it, I never thought when I started out 20 some years ago that I was going to be an aromatherapist making my own products. And then, yeah. you know, all of a sudden it just started going in that direction. Has this turned into your main job then, too? Um, it's one of them. Okay, so, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, sleep is overrated, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm going on like six hours sleep right yeah. now. So. And I see you, you actually have white sage. So, like yes. an actual candle, right? Yeah. Yep. So, let's smell it. Oh, it's, it's heavily. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen other companies that have had like a white sage candle uh -huh. and they put like just a little bit in. This is at a therapeutic rate, so it's over 2% uh, white sage essential oil, so it's really potent. Uh -huh. And I wasn't sure how it was going to come out because sometimes white sage can be a little on the subtle side, but when I put it in with the soy wax, it seemed to amplify it, so they're a lot stronger than what I thought they were going to be. But it's really nice because I've had a lot of people say, you know, I love burning sage, I love and stuff like that. But then my house gets smoky and stuff. So this is a way that they can have the fragrance of the white sage without having the smoke in the house and getting the it's fire. A it's a lot more subtle kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's a lot more subtle. Oh, nice. And what other kind of product? I mean, the essential oils, of course, and stuff like that. So these are actual blends, so there's some yes. different kind of essential oils in there and stuff then, right? Yeah, yeah okay. um, this is my lymphatic blend. It's actually uh, a newer blend uh, that's out now, and uh, Elisa DeFalco from L MLD Institute has been using it, and she loves it. Okay. And, uh, you know, it was I came up with the oil and then the massage oil, and I put it into some of the other things. and. I had never even thought about using it under the candles, and she's like, you know what, it would be really good because in some of those uh, lymphatic institutes and stuff like that where they're using, when they're working on a lot of patients, um, you have kind of that lymphatic smell. And she's like, you know, it's great to overpower that because it's a real cleansing fragrance as uh -huh. well. And, you know, so I have candles for that now too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So bath salts, everything yeah, else. Salt, salt right? scrubs, sugar scrubs, okay. honey scrubs, okay. and uh, sweet honey scrubs. So you make it for commercial use too, so people yes. can actually use it for their treatments and stuff yes. too. Then, okay. Yeah. So, and what's your most pro um, popular products that you have? Um, it, it all depends. I, I you know, I the Nurabri, the uh, massage oils. You know, people love those because they're a very large percentage of jojoba oil in there. Uh -huh. and they never go rancid, unlike you know a lot of the just grapeseed or something like that, or some of the other nut blends that you know you have them for six months and then they go bad before you can yeah. even use them up. So. I heard there's a worldwide shortage of whole lot then. There yeah. was last there year, but I okay. think this year it, it's, it's a been problem. lifting a little bit and yeah. stuff like that. So that's a good thing because we need more of that out there. So. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And what do we what can we see from your company in the future then? Um, well, we're uh, def I'm definitely going out into um, teaching CEU classes. Um, I have a three-day CEU class where I uh, teach a little bit about the actual herbs and then the essential oils, and then I'll go in, I go into a little bit of blending and then how to make your own products and then you yeah. know how to market them. Yeah. You know, because nobody's teaching that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes it's just more of a passive sale too. That's yeah. the nice thing about it. Yeah. Well, that, that was the other thing. You know, with uh, some of the products, um, I was the official massage therapist for the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair for five years, and I also sold my aromatherapy products, and I was selling as much 
if not more aromatherapy products as I was doing hands-on. So it's a way that people can double their income yep. without having to double their hands-on time. Yep. So it's, it's a great way to increase your marketing. And you know, if somebody's a therapist, they can email me and I will give them, with their license number, I will give them uh, the link to my wholesale page. And if they buy like five, six of one thing, they get 50% off and then they can mark it up and sell it to their, their clients and patients. So yeah. it's a way that they can increase yeah. business as well. It's called keystoning, right? And stuff like that. Yeah. So it's sometimes double the price and stuff, whatever yeah. you're getting for. Exactly. I mean, it just makes sense. I mean, because the thing is, we're not going to be able to massage forever. You know, exactly. like, so we need other avenues and stuff too. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, I, you know, this is part of the reason why I've been doing it so long is because, you know, I haven't had to do 40 hours worth of massages every week. And so, yeah. you know, between teaching and, and uh, doing the aromatherapy product, and massage, I've been able to keep along the yeah. career. And how'd you get the name um, NeuroBreathe then for the Well, Neuro yeah. for nerves. Okay. So it's kind of anything neurological or relaxing. And uh, I started out with a product called Easy Breathe, which was the first blend I ever did for respiratory. And okay. then I thought, well, you know, people like to have, you know, kind of a, a package label type of a thing. So I kept the Breathe, and then I just put something else in front of it, like Active Breathe is for muscles, for actin. And NeuroBreathe for neurological, Lympho for limp, and yeah. you know, right on down the line. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you're based out of Florida then, right? Yes, okay. out, out of uh, South Florida, out of Broward County. Okay. Um, um, in, uh, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale area. Okay, perfect. And I ship all over. Okay, and then what's the best way to get people get a hold of you then? Uh, they can go to my website, which is www.easybreathe.net. Okay. And uh, they can email me there. Okay. It's always a pleasure, John. Thank you. <laughs> yep, thanks. <laughs> all right. Thanks.